next we are gonna go to the town because I need to update my residency because I moved and um, but also to be honest I'm a bit skeptical about leaving the laundry outside because a lot of things can happen with the weather on the Azores within one hour you know so within one hour you can get many different uh, weathers okay now so with this residency thing I need to correct it because I don't live on the same place as I used to live before. So last week I went to one of the offices where they told me I need to go to Ponta Delgada to get this done. But then they called me that I don't actually need to go to Ponta Delgada because I am a European Union citizen. The procedure is not so complicated so I just need to go to Villa Franca. So... So this is what we are gonna try to do. So my mom is coming tomorrow and uh, we need to go shopping because... Villafranca. I love Villafranca. The location is perfect. It's uh, between Ponta Delgada and Fornage. The weather is usually good because the weather on the southern shore is usually better than on the north. And the town in general is really really cute. In the past it was destroyed by an earthquake but they rebuilt it and yeah, I think it's really nice. Also, it's quite an important city from a historical perspective. You know, in the past, Villa Franca had one of the biggest naval battles on the Azores between the Portuguese and the Spanish, where the Portuguese lost their independence for 60 years. Okay, but now we go and we see what, uh, what can we do with the residency thing. It's really hot today. So that was the building of the office where they told me to go and I went there and what they told me was that I need to go to the office where I went for the very first time where they need to give me some kind of a certificate and after I just need to come back. Yeah, it's starting to get a lot of fun. But there is this uh, place you guys uh, here in Villa Franca where you can get the very like these typical sweets from the Azores. So. We are just gonna do that. This is considered to be one of the best sweets on Sao Miguel. I think also one of the most typical ones. And based on what I heard, first it were nuns here in Villa Franca who started making these uh, typical sweets. And it was just made up of very simple ingredients like sugar and egg yolk and uh, milk. milk.
by the way, we are in Villa Franca, which uh, is the former capital of the island. But then there was like a huge earthquake, so it got destroyed. And well, now the capital is Ponta Delgada. But there are a lot of nice things to do. And I think what is really, really cool is that you can take a trip to the little island. So it's possible to get there by boat. You need to take it from the port and they are running regularly. But I think there is only a limited number of people who can visit the little island in one day. And it's really, really, really nice for snorkeling. One more thing regarding the little island. It's good to go there during low tide because there is usually like a small beach. But once the tide comes up, the beach might uh, disappear. I like this beach and there is also this like very cute aqua park. 